This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 12, Loops and Simulations, Puzzle 9. Changing the loop condition. Streaks of head. So, first off, if you don't have code, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. If you're stuck, you can watch some of my tutorials for that. Now, let's see what we're adding. We want our simulation to run while the streak of heads is less than a targeted length. Interesting. In order to do this, We'll need to change our looping condition to use the variable we've been using to count our streak of heads. To begin with, your, sim your simulation should look for a streak of three heads so that we can still visually confirm the output. Do this. Change the condition used by your wall loop so that it now runs while the streak of heads is less than three. Okay, I use heads count count. And then I'm going to change that to 3. So now my wall loop will run while it's less than 3. Test your program, okay. Ha <laughs> 3, cool. Um, no, as before, it's possible that your output will sometimes run off the screen. You can still confirm your code is working as intended. Okay. Cool. Let's, um... Oh... Uh, yeah, great. So all I did was change this back to the variable of our counting, what we're using to count the streak with, the heads count, and less than three. And remember, since it starts on zero, it runs once, adds one to, to the head, head would then be one, head would then be two, and then it's three and it stops. And since it runs on zero, it will actually run till it's, well, three times. Let's keep, oh, this is what adds one to it, though, not count. <laughs> uh, let's keep going.